We have a big news maker joining us now, someone who played an important role in strategizing for the state of Madhya Pradesh, BJP Madhya Pradesh in charge. Murli Dhar Rao is joining us live. Mr. Rao, congratulations. Uh, 160 and above. Thank you. It's a Thank landslide you. victory. Did you actually anticipate such a huge, huge success? No, definitely, uh, internally, all important people, we had full discussion and we have the comprehensive feedback. Based on that, we were expecting 150 and above. This kind of uh, communication we could receive from the party feedback. So, definitely, it is a great and good victory and uh, uh, important people were aware of this. A landslide victory, Murlidhar Rao ji, Mera Sawal is, is going to be also this, that just about every section seemed to have voted for uh, the BJP. Do you think particularly the women of the state played an important role? The largely behna scheme of the sitting chief minister in Shivrat Singh Chauhan could very well have been uh, that X factor. You know, we have to understand before reaching a conclusion, I would like to say in 2018 election and in before uh, 2013 in every election, if you see in Madhya Pradesh, because of the welfare front and the development front and the performance of the state government in Madhya Pradesh, women always supported BJP. But this time, definitely, it was uh, it, it it is stupendous, and uh, the support is uh, very uh, you know more than what we used to get. Apart from that, uh, as you said, I would like to uh, say here, after twenty years of uh, you know government. You know, running the government in the state uh, for 20 years. After that, a, a party in governance is able to increase the vote share. Previously, our vote share was 41 percent. This time, the vote share is 48 and of nearly 49 percent. So, you, the, you know, you should not go into only seats. The matter of the pride is the vote share increase. 49% vote share never happened in the history of Indian politics. In a state where we have governed for 20 years, their vote share increased so much, 8%. So this also adds to the, uh, you know, this victory, a very important feature. Yes, uh, but Murlida Rauji, in the Lok Sabha elections, uh, the BJP's ambition has always been 50% mark. And, and you had, did manage it also in the state of uh, Madhya Pradesh in 2019. You know, you have to understand, in, a, in BJP, before Modi ji and particularly after Modi ji came into the central government in Delhi, uh, we always, uh, you know, uh, in the central elections, in the national elections, we are above the state uh, performance and state percentage in every state, almost every state. So, this is the, uh, you know, the uh, very important aspect of the BJP's performance in every state. But uh, here in Madhya Pradesh, first time we have, you know, decided the target of 50 percent and we almost reached this time. Hmm. And Mr. Murli Rao, um, how is the BJP looking at the fact that 12 of ministers of Shivrat Singh Chauhan's cabinet, including the controversial Home Minister in uh, Narottam Mishra, they lost, uh, despite you winning with a landslide. That certainly is a disappointment. You know, you know this is definitely a, a kind of thing which we have to review. The, there is no anti-incumbency uh, against the government. And uh, in fact, it is a pro-incumbency because unless you have a pro-incumbency, you cannot increase the percentage like 8 percent in a state. In such a situation, uh, ministers who have functioned in the same government losing, definitely it's a bad luck and maybe local reasons. Uh, I don't see a statewide reason for that. And uh, do you think that fielding ministers, union ministers, MPs actually worked? 
largely largely living uh, you know faggan singh kulaste uh, yes. almost yes. all the persons whom we have fielded they have won and it has helped okay um mr rao you know, and if... more important thing is you have to understand hmm go ahead the the modi ji as a person it is not just prime minister running the campaign he always was available for the madhya pradesh both to guide the state government and to lead the state government campaigns and also to guide the booth level worker this has happened in the last 3 4 years so his continuous availability uh, in guiding all the people this has enormously helped the bjp at the state level you are saying that the prime ministers connect with the booth level workers actually helped uh, you know make those gains uh, how much of that push that was done by the prime minister um, on the day of birsa munda jayanti in uh, rachi helped the helped you till the tribal votes in your favor in the state of madhya pradesh you know i don't want to take that program in isolation in madhya pradesh in the beginning before 3 years we have identified three important sections one women as you have observed now the second is scheduled caste and also the scheduled tribes very important sections uh, of electorate in madhya pradesh all these areas we have consistently worked in all these important programs honorable prime minister participated uh, sant ravidas ji mandir mandir inauguration program rani durgavati related program ragunath shah related program in tribal heroes so like that in every campaign related to scs sts and women in all of these programs important programs prime minister's presence was always there he pushed he strengthened he supported and he backed also all of us it's about collective leadership which was on display despite shivraj singh chauhan being uh, chief minister of four terms the bjp did not really project him as a chief ministerial candidate my question is that after this victory who do you hold uh, you know who will you give credit is it prime minister modi or will you also say that state leaders played a role i don't see in bjp uh, in a functioning as a in charge for so many years in the entire country in different states and uh, particularly during the last 10 years uh, under the leadership of modi ji i don't see any kind of contradiction between you know modi ji's leadership and the state leadership and you have to understand you see a government led by shivraj singh chauhan ji as a chief minister and government led at the center by modi ji when they are functioning whether we projected or not as a strategic reasons as a party decision but without shivraj ji ji's state government's performance and without the stellar performance of modi ji central government this kind of connect sustaining this kind of connect with the people would not have been possible and uh, this kind of you know achieving after 20 years i am again making a statement 49% 8% increase across the state it is not confined to one area hmm. so, so this would not have been possible my last question to you and i know the answer but still i will ask you murli da rao ji who will be the chief minister and how much of credit will be given to shivraj singh chauhan in these campaign you know our party is always you know uh, very responsible and our leadership at the top also is very responsible and uh, each person's contribution is well recognized and acknowledged and uh, i don't see any reason to uh, discount anybody and our uh, honorable prime minister under his leadership top team will discuss and decide all aspects one the performance of the past government and the victory and the decoding the victory second the challenges in the coming days in madhya pradesh in running the government and three 
under the leadership of modi ji in 2024 elections and forward so all these things count, taking these aspects into count leadership will issue will be resolved and that will be taken by everybody collectively when do you think the government will be formed when is the ch uh, oath likely to happen how soon you know the date the, the the date and all these things ultimately subject of the parliamentary board hmm. and the decision is technically will be handled and uh, by the parliamentary board but it will be very soon all right murlidhar rao thank you so much for your time and congratulations for what has been a phenomenal victory of your party in the state of madhya pradesh thank you so much